YouTube. Today we're going to take a look at Lore's Waltz, one of Herschel Sizemore's really cool tunes that demonstrates uh, just what a master of tremolo and great tone player that he was. It's a fun tune. Before we jump into that, I'm going to invite everybody to subscribe to the channel, turn notifications on so that you know when new things pop up here. And also, I do have a tip jar set up with a PayPal account. You'll find an email for that and an email if you wanted to reach out for Skype lessons. All of that will be in the description of the videos here. So on to this waltz. It's in B-flat. I'm going to try to make my way through it if I can. There's no video available of Herschel playing this tune to, to my knowledge. If there was, I'd certainly love to be able to put it into the video. But anyway, here we have Lore's Waltz. Okay, so that's from this record. I'll put a picture of the cover up of one of his projects that included this great tune. And we can learn a lot here. It's a fun waltz to play. So at its core, we're seeing a lot of B flat double stops. If we were playing that scale, start here for B flat and move on. Look what we have there, open D. That's the major third of the chord, and then the root note of B flat. The next chord of that chord scale would be a C minor. We don't always even think of the chords that those double stops would represent. You could just look at it as shapes. And what's happening there is I'm following this major scale of B flat. Starting on the third fret of the G string and playing that scale shape that we sh everyone should be really familiar with. I have a video up about that potentially being the most important shape that we ever learn. So watch how he weaves in and out here. We start out very much with an arpeggio feel with, with two fingers. We could play a B flat arpeggio here. B flat, open D string, then the fifth of the chord, which is an F note. I'm playing that on the third fret of the D string. And then the root note of B flat. We're starting there. And he used a series of chromatic notes to lead in to this B flat double stop on the first fret of the A string and the third fret of the D string. Okay, look at that move. We just moved from B flat to E flat. The way he did that, after those pickup notes, we move up to B flat, and then I'm moving that shape down a whole step. I'm not playing that next interval down of this chord scale. I'm moving the whole shape. And as a result of that, that A flat note, which would be the flat seven, if you were playing rhythmically and you added that note, and that's going to want to pull into the third of the next chord, which is a G note. That's the third of the E flat chord. So we see that move happen now 
in the form of a double stop scale. So now we're on the E flat. Here we go. Into the F, he played once again chromatic notes. This time, instead of playing the first fret of the A string, it's an open A because that's the third of the F chord. So we're just swapping inversions. There we have a B flat and an F note. Then we have a C note and an A note. Then we have F and C. Then back to B flat with an open D string and the first fret of the A. So we've played through all three of those chords, B flat, E flat, and F. Let me go from the top. Now this line is so fun. There we have, we're moving fast, double stop, first and third fret, single note, and then first and fifth fret on the E and the A string, and then all the way up here to a higher B flat. That's an octave above the first and third fret B flat that we started on. There we see that same move again to get back to E flat. So neat. Let me play that line again. So we have two single notes. We have the third fret A string, a C, and then first fret A string, a B flat. Then back to the tremolo. And then our tagline, same line that we played before where the Fs change in version. So that's, there are really only two lines in this melody. Let me play that first one again. line another time to set ourselves up for the the line that goes into the E flat. Let me play through this section then we'll break it down. us back to the B flat. So watch what happens there. Right up the scale. There's our B flat scale in first position. If we started on the first fret of the A string, we're just playing right up the scale single notes. Once we get to this higher E flat than he's used at any point so far, We work down the scale again, single note, and then double stops. So we have E flat at the third fret E string, and sixth fret A string, then a single note, and then double stops. So cool to hear that change. Now back to the chromatic line. Look at that follow-up. We have the chromatic notes right up the D string, and once the tremolo starts, he played chromatic again from this G down to F, playing that F sharp note between at the fourth fret. 
Now such a cool turn here goes to a two chord, which is a C major. So from this double stop, first fret, A string, third fret, D, we're very probably used just playing bluegrass, all the lines that would have that series of notes. He used it to get to the C double stop here with the third scale degree open on the E string and then a C note here. Now on that line, I use an open string, open A, to shift into this double stop. Another option there would be to play that A note on the seventh fret of the D string. Either one of those would be a healthy way to commit this melody to memory. So anyway, I like the open A. And now, back down to this F position, open A, third fret D, and we walk down to that. And then we walk forward into another seven chord, that's or seven double stop voice, where we're landing on the fifth fret of the D and the eighth fret of the G. Let me go through that line again from the two chord from the C. the first line. And maybe to tag the tune instead of the double stop here, maybe go up to the fifth and the eighth fret which you would certainly recognize from playing a B flat chop chord. So anyway, I hope you'll learn this tune. It's a great lesson in the way B flat double stops function on the fretboard, and it's certainly a good tremolo exercise. So thank you, Herschel, for this amazing tune.